Hey folks, Gwei. The other day, Eric Metaxas and uh, Charlie Kirk. Eric Metaxas is an American author, Christian author. Uh, he wrote uh, uh, two wonderful books, one about Martin Luther and the other about uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Uh, he was having a conversation with, um, I don't know, American pundit, Charlie Kirk. And in that conversation, they were talking about a Christian's responsibility. And Metaxas said something along the lines of, uh, we've been given this nation, the United States, and we've been given our liberty, and we have an obligation to preserve the republic. And of course, Charlie Kirk chimed in. He completely agreed, and he went off and said his own thing. But I want to come back to that notion of our responsibility to protect the republic. The implication, of course, is that the republic, like the land, like the nation, like the liberty that, Char that Eric uh, Metaxas talks about, is a gift from God. And we must be a good steward of said gift. We have an obligation to be a good steward of the gifts that God gives us. We have, an, we have a responsibility to be good stewards of what God provides. And in that, he's right. We, we have a responsibility to be, a good, to be good stewards of what God gives us. And in that, we use those things properly. We use those things effectively. And we share those things with others. So that the blessing continues to be a blessing. Where he's wrong, though, is that the Republic itself, and this might be really hard to hear, is not a gift from God. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the establishment of the Republic is a response. It's the response, uh, it's the response to a people's collective experience. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, those things could have been written up and the authors could have been hung or shot or thrown into the ocean and those documents with them and, those, and, and, the, and the Republic never established. If the people, if the people of the nation didn't get behind them, if the people of the nation didn't support them and say, yes, we agree with these things, and the only way the people of the nation were going to agree with something like the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States of America is if they had hope. If they had hope for a better tomorrow. If they had hope that yesterday and today do not dictate tomorrow. This was the gift from God. Hope. Now, hope is, according to, the, according to the Bible, according to Paul, hope, faith, character, perseverance, they are, all, they are all connected. They all work with one another. They all lead into each other. Without that hope, without that hope, the United States never comes to be. And this, again, as I said, this is the gift, and this is what we are called to be good stewards of. We are called to be good stewards to that hope. We should be fostering that hope. We should be encouraging that hope. We should be, we should be preserving that hope. We should be nurturing that hope in others. We should be asking people to dream big, wild, deep dreams of a better tomorrow. We shouldn't be asking them to hold on to what was. You know, if you look at the founding fathers, again, you know, I, I said it in today's video. They had an understanding that the way things are could be better. They allowed themselves to dream. They allowed themselves to, to think big. They allowed themselves to believe that they could, they could shake off the tyranny of an, oppressive, of an oppressive king. Without that hope, the United States never comes around. And then make no mistake, they didn't believe that what they were writing was perfect today, tomorrow, and always. They believed that 
It was good enough for today. And they left room in the Constitution to change. I mean, that's why you have those sticky little things called amendments. The Constitution is good enough for today. But we know, we know that people are going to hope for new things tomorrow. We know that people are going to want for different things tomorrow. And we need, for this document to mean anything, it must make room for a changing nation and a changing people. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Republic itself are not gifts from God. It's the hope. The hope was the gift from God that led to the Republic. Without that hope, the Republic doesn't ever exist. And it is that hope that must be nurtured and preserved in the people of the nation. Above all other things, it is that hope. It is that hope for tomorrow that makes the United States the United States. Humans, humans don't do terribly well when we fixate on the past. We don't do terribly well. We, we cause a lot of pain, we cause a lot of sorrow, we cause a lot of, of damage when all we do is wish for what was. But humans, when we allow ourselves to be the hopeful creatures, that we can be. We're unstoppable. We're undeniable. We're gravitational. We're transformative. It's when we allow that hope when we allow that hope to exist in our hearts and, in, and when we encourage that hope to exist in the hearts of our neighbors and in the hearts of our friends and our family, it's when we truly become Christ-like. When we allow that hope to be our guiding principle, when we, when we allow the hope for a better tomorrow more prosperous tomorrow, more abundant tomorrow, more equitable tomorrow, more just tomorrow, more loving tomorrow. When we allow that hope for tomorrow to be our guiding principle. What do they say in Philippians? I can do all things through God who strengthens me. When we allow that hope for tomorrow to be our guiding principle, we can do all things because this is, because this is godly. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that you and I would hold fast to hope. That we would trust in it. That we would allow it to fuel us. That we would allow it to guide us. Even though it may feel like, like a pipe dream. It will move us forward. It will help us to become the people we know we can be. It will help us to become the communities we know we can be. Amen. Nemultus.